So, was haben wir hier noch? Jacob Co. Komm, wir gucken mal hier rein. Was, was haben wir hier? Ach, die neue Jacob. We are back at Jacob Co. New York. Today we're going to see Jacob's personal watch collection. So this is going to be a lot of fun. Well, cool. So uh, Jacob, I think, is expecting us. Perfect. You know the way. Come on in the back. I'll show you. Yeah, we're going to see his personal collection. Today. Excellent. Ah, Excellent. okay. So this personal. is exciting. We're going to see your personal watch collection. Oh, 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 oh. I think one of the most important things is to know about why of all the watches you make, you've picked these specific watches. Well, um, because Michael, you know, you have different occasions, right? You do. Like you have sports, you have evenings, we have uh, black tie events, right? For every reason, I have a watch. I'm a so, cooker. You know, for example, I'm comfortable wearing this watch right now. This is the 4X Serbia. And know, it's spectacular. With, with this multicolor dial and blue alligator band. It's nice, it goes with my outfit. It's comfortable to me. And yeah. this is like a daily wear for you? I mean, during, you know, I'm, I'm comfortable right now at work. Yeah, I'll probably go to dinner with it tonight. But then again, it depends what I wear and where I'm going. If I'm playing sports, this is my sports watch. Cool. You know, I love this, that watch. This is when I go to the gym, you know, when I Funky go Funky farbe, you know. He's Keramik. He's a very good tennis player, by the way. Just so, to, I throw that in there. We're still waiting for the challenge. When's that happening? Anytime. Anytime. It's really okay, good. <laughs> anytime. I'll challenge you anytime. I know you will. I know you will. And this, you'll, you'll win too. This is my godfather watch. This is the 50 year anniversary. And I love it. And it's, I know you're very attached it's to heavy. that watch. It's nice and heavy. It has this beautiful engraving. You know, ah. again, it goes with... How often do you wear this? With a suit. It's perfect. I, I would say maybe a couple times a week. Like I said, when I miss it, you know, when I, and I see a watch and I don't wear it too long, I say, oh Mike, let me wear it. How many different variants of watch does Jacob Co. have? Oh, right now, offhand, I don't know, but... Uh, a I, lot, right? I, I mean, maybe like 12, but I, I think I have in my collection at least like one of each from collection. Like this is from Godfather. This is Astronomia collection. And I love this. It's one of the first astronomias that I did. I made this watch uh, eight years ago, I think. Was it that long ago? Yeah, 2016. And look how beautiful it is. The movement is like in a fish tank. <laughs> and it's in the air. It's, really it's beautiful. Like, I think probably, you know what? I'll wear this tonight. This is beautiful. It's gorgeous, right? Absolutely yeah, gorgeous. Like so do you ever, like, get to the position of what watch am I going to wear? And then you can't decide. Yeah, and then, you know, uh, no, I do decide. I do decide, but for example, this would be, uh, you know, during a day, you know, it doesn't have to be at work. Let's say if I go out. I'm going to interrupt you. You have, it looks like three Chirons in oh, the Oh, I love uh, Bugatti Chiron. One is solid sapphire crystal, which I'm wearing right now. Which we went to the factory. We saw how the crystal is made. Right. This is insane. This is, this is blue sapphire crystal. Always will be mine. Like, I love this watch. Then I have this uh, black titanium. I like this watch. And I think this is very special. I like yeah. that watch. Question, so the black that's on the, is that a coating? It's the coating, D yes. Is it, D what do they call it, DLC? Uh, yeah, DLC. Exactly. And how is that done? It's uh, electrically, uh, electric process. But it, it doesn't chip, right? No, it doesn't, I mean, anything chips, you know, if you, yeah, if you do a very deep scratch, you can scratch it. But uh, it's very, very, um, I mean, I didn't, I didn't have any problems till now. I really like this watch. I didn't have any complaints. So, yes, yeah. Yeah, this even looks beautiful on the white band, so... And I noticed it's... you're wearing a glove for your own watches. No, because I'm... Because you wipe them every time. Yeah, I right? like to wipe it. You know, before I put it on, I like to wipe it. That's the only reason I'm wearing so a glove. pretty. That's... And I don't want you to wear a glove because you don't need to. <laughs> That's well, my thank you. Used, used watches, so... And then I have this Bugatti Chiron baguettes, and I love it. Just remind everybody how much that watch cost. This Bugatti baguette, uh, full full diamond, is nine hundred forty thousand. It starts from three hundred ten. I think this three hundred ten or three hundred twenty right now, three hundred twenty thousand dollars for titanium. The most expensive one is the sapphire crystal. More than the diamond. Yes, this is one point five million. Isn't that crazy? It's think most it. expensive because this is the hardest uh, crystal after diamond. It's uh, very, very expensive and difficult to grow it. It takes time to grow the material. And then the reason it's costly, because it breaks. When you manufacture it, you, you probably break two or three before you make one. Really? Yeah. Well, we saw in the factory how right. careful saw, they were. And the you poor saw guys, the whole can of uh, broken ones, yeah, right? Like the, a huge the, can. The, the poor guys that are polishing them, they've got to be scared because yeah. it could be 
weeks and weeks and, of work and then goodbye. Exactly. And the most uh, difficult part is when it breaks right in, in the end, when it's, the watch is almost done. Horrible. And you're, you're doing the final touch-ups and then you have a crack or, or chip. So, so has anybody bought one of these and dropped it? You know, till today, like we've been selling them the sapphire crystals for a couple of years now, not one returned. Wow. 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 Not one complaint, not one repair. And we have very little, little repairs, like in general. And then, you know, when I don't wear this one and I want something really Where, where, where uh, do you flashy, wear this one? Where do you wear this one? Well, this would be, it depends where I'm going. Let's say if I go to a basketball game, you know, or a basketball game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's in show. game, you know, like uh, where you just were. Yeah, that I would wear this. there. You know, it, it depends on, on your mood, you know, it depends what clothing you're wearing and where are you going. And, and if you're going to some dinner, it's what, what kind of people you're going with. Right. You know, it's just all this, it's fashionable. It's, 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 it's all conversational watches, you know. It's fashion, it's beauty, it's diamonds, it's technology. technology. Like this is really, really, I love this watch. Wow. This, like, I, I love all of them. Krass. I cannot say I love yeah, that's one more than me another. So let me cool. stop you right there. You know, if look, you could only, look at this one. If you could only have one, for whatever reason, you're only allowed to have one watch, which one would you pick? Well, at least give me two. <laughs> I'll give you three. How about that? I'll give you right, three. So one for sure will be this one, the caviar uh, rainbow. Showstopper. And I totally get that. I would pick that. Then, in then I'll go for one of the Chirons, either sapphire crystal or plain, you know, and because all three will be completely different. And the Godfather. Yeah, yeah. This three I must have. So Godfather, what would you, what Chiron, would, and caviar. But what would you play tennis in? Oh, then <laughs> I, I forgot. No, tennis is this. This I didn't even count because <laughs> it's least expensive watch, but it's very light. It's a um, black titanium chronograph. For the money, it's amazing. And why green? Twenty-six thousand. I just love the color green and black. I don't know. It's just. I have it does look good. I have sneakers to match. Irgendwie finde ich, dass die Uhren einfach keinen Stil haben, sind für den Auftritt. Das trägt keiner für sich. Ja, Geschmäcker sind unterschiedlich, weißt du. Wir in Deutschland haben andere Stilrichtungen, in Amerika, in Afrika. Überleg mal, wie viele Afrikaner du auf Instagram siehst, ja, irgendwelche Königsfamilien, die so eine Uhr rocken. Diese Astronomia. Diese, die sind ja 48 mm, glaube ich, groß. Die sind teilweise etwas überdimensioniert. Ich muss dir ehrlich sagen, Real Talk, diese Solar, die wir mal hatten, wir hatten ja eine Uhr von denen. Zum Beispiel, die hat mir persönlich sehr gefallen. Würde ich mir das jetzt leisten können, so einfach 200.000 beiseite zu packen. Also, da hätte ich schon Spaß dran. Wenn du drauf guckst, lässt sich das schon träumen. Ne? Und äh, auch jetzt, die, die er gezeigt hat mit diesen bunten Steinen, natürlich, also ist jetzt keine, kein Massending, ne? aber wenn du so ein spezielles Event hast und so weiter, ist schon cool. Aber klar ist jetzt, kein mess appealing, ne? Dafür würde zum Beispiel ich, weißt du, ich würde mir keine Standarduhr holen. I love blue. Like this one I have with no diamonds as well. You know, like sports This watch. is also very pretty. This is very Miami. Yeah, this is right. very Miami. This is uh, Epic X. Uh, yeah, this is a boating watch, steel, say, right? Boating watch. Boating watch, yeah. yeah. You wear your sailor's cap and your white shirt with the epaulets <laughs> on it. And then, you... and then, of course, nice I watch. love... That's a nice watch. How much is this one? It's, I think, let me see. I don't remember. Approximately, well, approximately, so used to looking at approximately the 50,000, approximately 50,000. So Michael, let's see if you're on the same page as me. Which do you think is his favorite watch out of all these? I know he's not going to tell us. This one. Really? Yeah. I don't think it is. You don't? No. Your Godfather. Yep. Which is your favorite of all of them? One? Yeah. Just one? Yeah. Then I have this uh, twin turbo fury. See how he doesn't want to answer yeah, the exactly. question. I'm thinking Very while political. I'm talking. <laughs> okay. This is a beautiful watch. But this is twin turbo. And, and meet repeater. Very, very beautiful watch. I love wearing this watch. This is also one of my favorites. If I have to have only one watch, you're saying? Only one. Only one. To do everything. To do everything. It have to be this, because it's the only one you can play tennis with. <laughs> no, I mean, I don't play tennis with this watch. I go to tennis with this watch. I don't ah, play it with a watch on. Uh, I take it off, but um, I don't know. It's very, very, uh, uh, honestly, I, I think I go for the sapphire crystal shell. See? Yeah, that's what you See? said. Yeah. I, think, I think I go for this. I mean, I can never get tired of this. It's actually, not only is it beautiful, but it's also understated. The reason this is so special, because basically I designed this 
completely like the car itself. There's a new That's crazy. There's a new Bugatti car coming out. So the car will be called Turbion. Turbion. Yes. The reason why because it will have the uh, um, mechanical dashboard manufactured by one of my uh, watch manufacturers. So it'll be a Jacob & Co dashboard? No, it's not going to be called dash, uh, Jacob & Co dashboard. It's a Bugatti dashboard. My factory is only manufacturing the dashboard. It's, dashboard. it's, <laughs> it's a mechanical. <laughs> it's a mechanical. We can call, we can call it it's Jacob & Co It's a mechanical, dashboard. yeah, but, you know, we, we, you know. We're not but it's a Bugatti dashboard. It's a Bugatti dashboard. It's mechanical, made like a watch. That's crazy. And it looks just like this three circles. What you're looking at right now, this is just a prototype, so it's not ah, like finished okay. completely, but still working prototype. This turbine, instead of 60 seconds, it's a 30 seconds turbine. So it's double the speed. Yeah, double the speed. We are developing now a much faster one, but... Uh, faster than 30 seconds? Yes, but until now, 30 seconds is fastest. That's crazy. Normal, normally, all the brands, they use 60 seconds. Okay, so this button here is to launch the engine. And Listen to that. And it's V16. So V16 as opposed to W16 right. in the Chiron. Interesting exactly. anordnung. This uh, dial here to show you hour and minutes. It's like a speedometer. It looks like a speedometer, exactly. Uh, it will have much uh, brighter hands to tell the time. Right now, just the first prototype. Here, you have the fuel tank, which is the same thing in the car. And this shows you, one hand shows you the power reserve of the engine, and one of them shows you power reserve of the, the timepiece. Interesting. Incredible. Sehr so every time you press the engine here, the, you see the blue hand moving down, showing that you're losing power. But it's enough for 20 times. This will hold 20 cycles of the engine? Yes. How does it do that? Well, once you wind it. Yeah, but wasn't the the, the Chiron uh, was much less? Much less. This has One, much more two or three uh, power times, reserve. Right? Yeah, this this is, has much more power reserve. So is technology evolving once again? Exactly. This is so crazy. if you look at the case, this is a titanium case, and look at the front of the. Interesting. It looks like the grill of the uh, front of the car. Front of the car. And the side windows looks like the side of the car as well. And very important, you see the back of the watch. It looks like the engine. That is truly, truly back amazing. Of the engine. And the size, uh, it's 44 millimeter width and 52 millimeter. Uh, it's much smaller than, much the, smaller. than yes. the original the Chiron, right? Much and more. this can be... It could uh, be a little bit too small for you. Yeah. <laughs> but it's uh, really for average... Well, it looks fantastic. Uh, for average guy, it's amazing. I mean, we could wear it, of course, but... It looks gorgeous. Yeah. And this can be configured in any well, way you want. We right? have, yeah. It's configured to any color you want. And I will show you some. I will show you pictures of mm -hmm. uh, examples how this watch could look. So you could so, match it to your car, basically. Exactly. You could match it to your car. So this is the uh, colors. Blue with stainless steel and black. And then black and black. Then you have blue titanium, blue and gray dial. Mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, basically, you could play with this as much as you want, and you could have whatever color you want. You want green, you want, you know, Class. everything is possible because uh, the idea is to match it to the car that you're buying. How many of these will be made? 250 limited edition for now, because we're matching to the limited edition of the cars. Mm, so would it be an option for somebody purchasing a car? That they could get a watch. They get the first up. Whoever is buying the car gets the first option of the Mark, bist du irgendwie müde? Ich bin nicht müde, ich habe äh, Schmerzen. Ich habe auf dem Weg nach Stuttgart irgendwie nicht einen Nerv eingeklemmt, aber ich habe äh, ich habe irgendwie einen Nerv gereizt und äh, es, also es ist echt anstrengend. Jetzt gerade wenn ich zu lange sitze, dann äh, tut mir, tut mir, tut mir die Beine weh und so weiter. Das ist gerade im Moment so, pff, also mache ich wirklich, äh, es schafft.